So I hope my screen is visible to all of you. Yes, sir. Yes, visible. Uh, if you have any other equipments, you can parallelly roll with me. This is the home page of Google Art and Culture. It's visible to all of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. So here we have in this several themes. Like today's today's read is about five museums that broke records. You can explore this today's topics like this so as much you explore about this you can learn several things to this so one of the museum i want to show you through this you see my uh, cursor you can click on the explore button then you can see here we have 360 degree videos, art cameras, and several others. So this page is not about only the monuments. You can read about the historical persons, historical figures, artists, mediums, art movements, historic events, and several things. Have you heard about the uh, National Museum in, established in Delhi? Yes, sir. Anyone of you can visit it yet or not? Yes, sir. Visited once. Visited. So, ma'am, you can give a virtual tour to the students. So, uh, I searched for National Museum, as you see, this is the National Museum and not only National Museum, we have this Rail Museum, National Council of Science. So several things have appeared here. So I click on this National Museum first. So one of the ma'am said ki she has visited already the National Museum. I hope uh, you have seen all these pictures, then whatever the mention here, you have seen all the things physically in the National Museum. Yes, yes, sir. So virtually, all the collections were there here. So anyone can read about anything. Like if you click on this Buddha. So we'll read about this. That is a Gandhara art sculpture. Then uh, it's found in Peshawar Valley. Yes. And the time period is, period is 280 to 380. About this sculpture, uh, statue. So you can provide the link in your teachings if you teach 
about Buddha's statue, then you can see here all the things. The important thing in this website is the virtual tour. This is the virtual tour of the National Museum. You can click on the explore. So now you can see you are in the gallery of National Museum. Yes. Are you able to see? Yes, sir. So you can interact in between if you want to ask or you want to say anything about this. So you can interact. This is not a closed session. It's an open session. Anyone can speak in between. So in the bottom, you can see different, different frames. This is the different areas of the National Museum. You can visit any of the frames or you can simply move in this gallery or you can rotate by clicking your cursor all around. You are standing in this room. You can see anywhere. Like you see Moria, Shogna and Savannah's art are there in this. This is the Gandhara art places. So Excuse me, sir. Yes, yes, ma'am, please. Sir, I am for mathematics room, mathematics room. Ma'am, you are a mathematics person? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. So you are in the wrong breakout room, ma'am. Sir, send me a mathematics link, sir. Uh, please leave the breakout room. And after leaving the breakout room, just click on the uh, leave button of breakout room. Just leave the breakout room, not the meeting. Left. So anyone like this who belongs to different section and they are here for the social science session. I hope not. So as you see, you can visit the museum as you physically visit. So you can see the Gandhara art. You can roam around this, around this gallery. If I want to go to this statue, click this press. So I can see. So all of you are visiting the gallery like me? Yes, sir. Doing the same. Yes, sir. True phone, sir. So only thing is that we are not able to read the description about this statue. But whatever I uh, provided the information earlier about the Gandhara Art Buddha statue, you can read in that section about every structure present here in this museum. So move around in the next room. Now we are in the next room. So what do you think? Is it helpful for the social science students? Yes, definitely, sir. sir. Yes, sir, definitely. Definitely, sir. This You can see how beautifully they have 
related so we can visit virtually like we visit physically in the gallery So this is the next room. So this is the old Vishnu statue. I want to see from near. I think those who have not visited the National Museum physically, they can take a complete, uh, complete tour of this museum virtually here. So you can see a gold structure. Hello. Yes, sir, please. Sir, I can't move my cursor to same as to do. Sir, do you have a network issue, internet issue? No, sir. I think you can just click left, uh, left side of the mouse and hold it and now scroll like me. So this is the old art we have uh, get on earth in different times. All of you are practicing with me? We are, I am trying, sir. No issues. Uh, I'm just demonstrating it. You can see. You can try for it also. Janaka, move your umbrella. I'm not going to move it over there. So uh, hope you have got the experience of this. I'll move to the another room. Yes, sir. Okay. Now you can see we are in the room of paintings, different different paintings from different eras.
and you can see the weapons also there sword and the protection shield So we will come out of this virtual tour and explore another things. So this is about the virtual tour of National Museum. Then we have visited the Kusana part of this late medieval art gallery virtual tour is also there. This is the medieval period art. You see. How beautiful it is. So all of you have get what I'm trying to convey to you. Now I'm stop sharing my screen. So have you visited this ever before? So everyone I think lost in the virtual team. No one is here to interact. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I'm just demonstrating it to show you, you can include a visualization thing to your teaching process. Because we have very much difficulties organizing the physical tools in social science. Yes, because sir. we have to take care of all the students in between of the two and we have the responsibilities. No one is taking such risk to take the students to some other places, or even we have not such type of funds to organize uh, frequently these tours. So we can accommodate uh, these tours in our teaching process. Definitely. And we can utilize the resources available freely. So we can visit several things. We know seven wonders of the world. One of the, uh, it is Taj Mahal. Everyone wants to visit Taj Mahal. But is it possible? We have to come to Agra for that visit. So you can visit virtually Taj Mahal in this Google Art and Culture. Okay. Even- Sir, so nothing is showing in your screen. Ah, actually, I am stopped sharing my screen to interact with you. Okay. okay. I'll show you more things in this also. Don't worry. I'm start sharing again. Just I'm talking to you to make the session very uh, interactive from my side. If you feel so like this. So how can we include uh, teaching aids in our teaching of social sciences? Because we are facing such difficulties in developing different different things in social sciences as we learned several tools in this uh, second phase of SRG training program 
you can utilize some tools for developing e content in social science uh, from these tools we have learned but uh, we can also include uh, several teaching aids in social science so uh, not only indian uh, museums were available in this uh, google art and culture we can visit the world places also like seminar of pisa you can see the queen victoria's uh, darbar room ya uh, taj mahal national museum like this if if you want to see i can demonstrate one of the international things also to you so you can get the idea here is the search bar you can click on this and you can simply type in victoria So this is the Queen Victoria's Darbar Room view. You can visit virtually this. Well, my name is Michael Hunter, and I'm the curator here at Oswald. Queen Victoria and Prince Albert were very young when they first came to Osborne. They had married three years previously. And at this stage, of course, they had started a family. They already had three children. And so they were looking for a private family home away from the Harley Farley of London. And it was here at Osborne that Queen Victoria and Prince Albert could get outside, swim on the beach, play with their children. And they would spend around three to four months of every year here at Osborne. Some of their happiest times were spent here. Prince Albert was his own architect for the house. He didn't employ an architect. He had the bright ideas. He very much wanted an Italian look at house. So you can see the documentary or you can also scroll, scroll around this Darbaru. Well, we've left the splendor of the Italian terraces outside and moved into the house. And we're going to go to India, the Darbar room. Queen Victoria is very fond of Indian art. So she has used, she has instructed their uh, curators to create Indian art in their Darbar room books. One personality that springs to mind in the Darbar room is Abdul Karim. He was really a waiter at table. That was how he started off in the royal household. Very good looking. And Queen Victoria had a, a strong aesthetic sense. She enjoyed beauty and all sorts of things. And so she really took a shine to Abdul. And she promoted him very quickly through the ranks of the royal household and he became her Indian secretary. And this privileged access really stirred up a storm within the ranks of the rather stuffy and prejudiced Victorian household. Well, it's been a great pleasure uh, showing you around Osborne and highlighting very few of its, of its treasures. Where else can one get close to Queen Victoria and Prince Albert? Here at Osborne, we walk in their footsteps. We hear the same sounds. We see the same sights as they would have experienced over a hundred years ago now. Similarly, you can visit different, different things. Like you can go inside a space shuttle in VR. 
So if you click on this,
हेलो सर हेलो सर वी कॉन्ट लिसन एनी थिंग इस वीडियो की वॉइस नहीं आ रही थी आपको नहीं नहीं सर नो सर दिस इज नॉट ऑडियो आई चेक फॉर वन सेकंड एक्चुअली अ वीडियो हैज ऑडियो आल्सो वीडियो इज ऑडिबल ऑडियो वाइल एक्सप्लोर exploring ourselves so you can explore several things not only the historical events you can move, uh, visit the this space shuttles how they live in this you can step into the orion this is orion nebula even hubble control center also how the hubble control center is look like one more thing is that i am talking about just 360 videos this is not about only 360 videos you can go to the home you can explore several things beaches animals different different things different museums in explore you can have the 360 videos other than that we have historical figures also you can read about them also from recent historical figures to the earlier one so you can see how many historical figures were there in this you can search from this search bar also about the historical figures like george washington is there you can read about him you can see different the uh, paintings and art form you can also go through this historical events were there you can read about the historical events like american civil war korean war then world war first russian revolution that is the important events from our history part we have a uh, teach about attack on pearl harbor you can give the link of this also to the students to explore about this you can assign the assignment to explore about any historical event war or they can uh, provide a brief write up about this events and they can visit these historical events places monuments virtually here and the last thing i want to show you as i talk to you about the taj mahal so you can read about the taj mahal here brief description is provided can you click any of this so you can see you are in the premises of the taj mahal now you can rotate your cursor to see all around how the boundaries of this around it now you can scroll up if you click on this then 
also provide complete view from one of the mima, minars of the Taj Mahal. There are four minars around four sides of the Taj Mahal. So uh, you are on one of the minars at the top, and this is view from that minar. This is the main tomb. This is the gallery. You can see how beautifully they have used colors and designs to decorate their roof and walls. You can read about the art form and color structures in the gallery area of this Taj Mahal. And this is the place where the Taj Mahal is and the whole dome is surrounded around this place. You can see how beautifully it is structured. This is the main central hall of Taj Mahal. And this is the top roof. People came from here to see. Beyond this, you are not permissible to enter virtually also. So hope you have enjoyed this tour. Now I am stop sharing this. Move our session ahead. So, all of you are exploring this along with me. Yes, sir. So, how is it? Do you find it helpful while teaching your social science subjects in the classrooms? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. And other subjects also. Yes, sir. Uh, please, uh, one by one, you can speak up. Many of you have opened their mic, but suddenly close all of you. Yes, sir, definitely. Uh, because as, as you said, there are so many cost uh, effect to take the student somewhere else. So I guess this is one of the very important uh, factor that we can virtually tour our student in a very historical place, sir. Yes, uh, it attracts the students that they are visiting these monuments while setting their own places. And it uh, enhances their learning skill, the link of Google Art and Culture, you can place it in the timeline you have created uh, and you can click on that links to explore about that event historical places. So uh, I'll share again my screen uh, and I'll show how you can generate timeline with the help of AI. So this is the tool, precedent.com. You have, 
can see this. I have logged in already. You can log in also through your email and it has some paid features. It has some uh, unpaid features, but unpaid features are sufficient for you to create timeline. So whatever timeline you want to create uh, to assist your teaching process, you can create it. This is the home page of president.in.com. So you can log in with it. Just type on Google E R E C E D E M. You see a uh, first create a timeline president.com. Please open and log in with your email so you can able to create timeline or just as you created stop motion animation videos and share in the WhatsApp group, you can also create timeline and share with us in the WhatsApp group. We'll click on this. So I have, as you see, I have already logged in. Here is my account. I'll continue with that. So just create, click on that create timeline. So here we have some options, add events, AI suggestions, then other things, bulk editor, add layer, appearance, and share. So you can manually create if you have a structure timeline with you, like you have all the knowledge about the, uh, you are about to teach uh, Mauryan Empire timeline. So from Chandragupta Mauryas to the Ashokas and after that, you can create your own timeline by adding events. You can click on the add events, add date and even uh, time or start adding. So after adding different, different timeline, you can create a cumulative one. Or simply you can click AI suggestions. Like I talk about Mauryan Empire, I'll just write Mauryan Empire and click generating. So it take you hardly a minute to create a Mauryan Empire timeline. As you see, a timeline is created from 322 BC, 185 BC. So add to the timeline, we click on add to the timeline. As you see, here from 300 BC to 175 BC, we have the timeline. If you click any of the event, then you can add your notes. You can provide here links. Anything you have searched uh, about Mauryan Empire in that uh, Google Art and Culture, you can place the link here also. And you can update the event with the link. So AI suggestions were also there. If you don't know about the complete reason period, you can uh, go through this AI suggestions and create the timeline. Like we teach in uh, social science about the formation of political parties. political parties. In India. You can generate also a timeline about this. It will take just some time to create timeline. As you see, we have these events add to timeline. So on the right hand side, you can see formation of Indian National Congress 1885, partition of Bengal, formation of Muslim League, 
Gandhi is returned to South Africa. They have included all these events also are in political parties also. Like you want to generate major events in British period. So, what are the major events in British period? The AI gather information from all the sources and generate a timeline for you. So, you can easily go to, to, to this timeline. Establishment of British India, British East India Company in December 31st, 1600 till the Second World War. You can add with the timeline. Where we can also add information in this timeline at any uh, of the event, like passes of uh, passes of the reform act. You want to add some information? You can put here notes, or you can provide some links about any uh, information related to this. Then you can see. Uh, in this bulk editor, you can edit all the events you have created. Then you can add layer to this. If you want to add some layer in this timeline, you can add also. Then you can see the appearance of this timeline. You can date, format, content, visibility, events you want to add, layers. All these features are available with this group. Add, then you can share this timeline in a PDF format, PowerPoint format, presentation mode, image, link. These all the formats were provided to share this timeline to the students. Or if you want to collaborate with uh, other colleagues also, you can collaborate and create this timeline. Hope you are understanding what I am trying to convey. Are you creating? Yes, sir. This is very useful. If you are not aware about the events or if you have missed anything, you can take the help of the AI to generate about this. Or if AI misses something, you can add in this. So this is one of the best way to create the timeline without any such efforts within a minute. Uh, if you understand uh, everything, then I can stop sharing or you want to repeat this process again. Should I repeat or I can stop sharing my screen? So I'll repeat it once again. Sorry, sir. Uh, I'm not able to hear. Sir, please okay. repeat it once again. Repeat it once again. Sir, repeat. Okay, okay. I'll repeat. Yes. Oh, yes, okay. sir. Please repeat. I'm repeating. I'm going to the home page. Everyone uh, is clear about the login process? Yes, sir. So after logging, you are here. Yes, sir. Ah, you are here on this uh, home screen of this. As you see, this is the home screen. And here is the option of create timeline. OK, you can choose the different, different formats, like simple, multiple layers. That, but if you choose the simple one, it is good. Just click on the create timeline. Hello. 
so you are here you can manually create the timeline by adding the events whatever you see in the left side of the screen in blue format add event you can click on this you can manually create by entering the date and notes and name of the event if you want to create your own family timeline also you can create with this manually or you want to get the suggestions from ai ai suggestion if you click on the ai suggestion here you have the option to write about what timeline you want like i have entered major events major events in british period just after entering the title you have to click on generate ideas now the ai is generating ideas i hope all of you are getting here till yes sir yes sir so now the ai is gathering information and generating a timeline about the historical major uh, events in british period like establishment from british east india company and other several events then you have to click on add to the timeline just click on this now it is added in this like timeline this is a time of 1600 where the british uh, east india company established till 2000 formation of the commonwealth 1949 sir, yeah yes me sir sir can we can we add more events out here yes sir yes sir i am just, just say, telling you if you want to add more events you can add like first anglo dutch war i want to add something here i can click on this then they have provided the option to add anything and you can provide notes if you want to add about first uh, anglo war you can add something here you can put a link here to explore something by clicking on that link sir it is free okay. version or uh, paid yeah, version it's, it's a free version sir i am using only the free version it has free, paid also but as free version is sufficient for you okay sir if you want to add some layer in this you can click on the add layer then you can add name provide the event name provide the name uh, notes then you can add the layer on this also. then you after adding all the features you can see the appearance in this format also here you can also do the changes and after clicking uh, save changes you can save all the changes here. then if you want to share anything if you have completed this timeline you want to share with the students in a print format or in a pdf format or link format just <coughs> click on the share button then we uh, have the option of sharing in pdf powerpoint presentation mode image with the link and other these formats spreadsheet invite collaborators also you can invite other person to uh, add in your timeline also or you can be a collaborator to other uh, person timeline so these are the features available for the timeline creation and these are the ways you can share uh, your information to others also. with the help of ai okay that is clear to all of you Yes, how sir. can yes. we save sir sorry ma'am how can we save this ma'am I'm, i'm just saying uh, click on the appearance button you can here save save changes sure thank you sir or you can share directly go to the share and click on the pdf to share okay i got it.
So I will stop sharing my screen. Uh, Shubha ma'am, uh, you got everything uh, or should I repeat once again? You have written that, please recap for the beginning. I had some technical issues. Ma'am, you are mute. Please unmute yourself, then speak. Uh, the timeline. This is the event of Morian periods. Uh -oh. It has created. So you can see in the timeline also. Establishment of the Morian Empire and reason of Ashoka and decline of the Morian. Yeah. Then Kalinga War is there. Mm -hmm. Edicts of Ashoka was there. The talks to 50 BC. They have created that. In this, you can add the layerings. With the help of AI, no? Yes, yes, sir. You can create with the help of AI solution. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Any apps for political science, especially? No, sir. No. No such apps is there to uh, for the political science exactly because political 